that's going to change. It's not going to change. <laughs> uh, when if I'm lucky enough and blessed enough to break it, then we can talk about it then. What do you think it, it means to be able to be a guy who has just been able to play so long at the intensity that you do every single night? Um, it's a blessing. I don't, I don't take this game for granted. I don't take the opportunity to go out and compete for granted. Um, I want to be the best at what I do. Um, and that's basically it. Thank you. Chase. Ross, um, how big was it to have guys like Hall Neto and, and Robin Lopez step up? I understand, you know, not a, not a lot of guys got a ton of sleep. And obviously with the start you guys had for those guys to give you a lift. I was good, man. You know, that's why um, collectively in the past month or so we've been playing better because everybody on the team has been wow. doing a great job of uh, just locking in and, and stepping up the games when we need them the most. And uh, for you, you, you were traded here about six months ago, and obviously these, these six months have been an absolute whirlwind. I'm just curious, what's it been like uh, playing for the Wizards and, and living in a new city and just what have these last six months been like for you as you've adjusted to new surroundings? Uh, it's been great. You know, um, the city, the team, the coaches, everybody's kind of welcomed me and my family with open arms. And, uh, you know, that's all you can ask for. And my job is to go out and be professional. Uh, this is a job, and I make sure that I go out and give everything I have, uh, you know, for the team, for the city. Zach. Russ, that charge you took uh, towards the end of, I think the end of the of regulation, so much happened, you know, in overtime and everything. But uh, for you to just step in with five fouls, is that for you just like do whatever it takes? I might have to sacrifice, you know, my six fouls, but we got to make the winning play. Yeah, just make the right play. Um, sometimes throughout games, like I've always said, you can impact the game in different ways. Um, and defensively, I try to make sure I'm locked in and engaged and, I try to make winning plays when the game is online. Neil. Hey, Russ. Does your routine change at all in a night that you guys don't get a lot of sleep? Do you try and get more sleep during the day or anything like that? No, unfortunately, no. Um, it's just very unfortunate that the way it's scheduled, you know, because yeah. we got to get up in the morning and test at 8 a.m. We get in at 4 a.m., 4.30 you don't get a chance to sleep and you got to eat and get ready to get back on the bus, come back to the game. So it's very unfortunate as much as we love to play, as much as, you know, it's good to play, but our health and our body is important too, which is, uh, you know, I'm not too happy about the way that we made this back to back, but we got through it. We got the win and we just move on. Hopefully in seasons to come, we can do a better job of scheduling uh, and, and taking a lot of those things in consideration, especially flying from Milwaukee all the way to Tampa. I'd Russell, on that note, obviously this this schedule is is unlike anyone, and, and you know it's it's unprecedented. But in general, would you like to see less than an eighty two game season over that same normal span, or are you good on eighty two? Um, I just go out and play. One that decision to be made, we vote on it. If we want to play less, we play less, play more, keep the same. Um, uh, but as it pertains to this particular situation, I'm not too fond of the time, amount of time we had to recover to be able to play, uh, you know,